Alright guys, I'm going to talk about this in a second, but pretty much in this video, uh, my audio and video glitched out, and I just want to let you guys know that about a day after this video releases, there's going to be a re-upload of this video, where it's just the game, but it's going to swap out my commentary for just some basic, uh, basic non-copyright music. I know that it's kind of lame and that you guys don't want to just watch Madden over a song, but for the people who really want to watch me play this game, but at the same time just can't stand that metallic voice, there's that option. Um, I don't expect many people to watch that, it's just kind of there. there, I'm not putting any effort into it, so I wouldn't recommend watching it unless you don't like this video, then I would definitely recommend watching it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna explain the issues in like two seconds, so there you go. Hey guys, before this video starts, I just wanted to quickly come in and apologize, I know it's been a while since I recorded, but that's, I explain that stuff on later in the video, mainly what I wanted to apologize for is, I actually ended up, for some reason, my mic decided to record my audio twice, so in the video, I sound like Megatron, it's kind of weird, so I'm really sorry that the audio uh, quality is poor, if it gets to be unbearable, then don't worry, you guys, just, if you want to, just leave a like and click off. Thank you for your support, for those of you that do watch through the video, I'm truly sorry, I did not mean for this audio glitch to happen, I was just super excited to get back to recording, and uh, here we are, it didn't work out too well, but thank you guys so much for watching, uh, if you bear through this audio glitch, don't feel like you have to by any means, but thank you for understanding, and I'm sorry, once again. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Madden 21 Gunners video. So, a few things I want to mention before we get into some of the gameplay. Before I uh, explained my rules of how I do Superstar X Factors and pretty much development traits in a whole, pretty much, um, whenever someone gets, like, whenever someone gets a good achievement, whether it's weekly awards, uh, MVP, Pro Bowl, whatever, I give them a development upgrade. However, Another way we can do it is instead of giving them a development upgrade, we can do what I like to call re-rolling abilities. Um, so pretty much what we do there is we downgrade their uh, development trait and then we upgrade it again. So they stay the same in development trait, but they, we have a chance of giving them better abilities. Kind of like how um, we saw last episode with Jayon Brown. I think he had maybe Strip Specialist, which is a nice ability, but it's definitely not the best. So if we can get him another award, we will definitely be re-rolling the abilities. Another thing, uh, I'm going to limit myself, or I guess, yeah, limit myself to, I'm going to have to play, or I'm going to have to sim five weeks, because I truly believe that I could probably win every single game, so I'm going to have to sim five games, I can, pl I can uh, sim more than five, but I'm going to say I have to sim five, and also I have some goals I want to get uh, played out. First, uh, first season, we're just, you know putting her toes in the water, just testing it out. Second season, we're going to play on all Madden. Third season, we're going to aim for the NFC, or, yeah, AFC Championship. Fourth season, we won a Super Bowl. And fifth season, we're going to do our best to get an undefeated season. So, uh, fifth season's probably the most unrealistic. The second season, we're going to struggle because I don't play on all Madden that much, but I, I believe that we can at least make the playoffs. But, all right. So, reverse the Jags. Most of the games you guys will see will be against division opponents or anyone that's close in uh, record to us, just to make sure we secure that playoff run. But to be honest, it's it's still been close games. Thirty-seven twenty is kind of, like it's it was a pretty pretty it was we won it by a lot, but that was due to some last moment touchdowns. But let's get into these Jags. The Jags have kind of fallen apart in the recent few years, so I think this should be an easy win, but at the same time, we're also a rebuilding franchise, so maybe we have nowhere to speak. Let's talk to this X-Factor cornerback. Who's it gonna be? Richard Sherman made it to the Jags. So, a few things we can do here. We can disregard him, which is gonna give us the easiest challenge, or we can neutralize him, which is gonna give us the hardest challenge. Now, the harder the challenge, the more XP you get. And honestly, I don't feel like taking on that hard of a challenge. I don't think XP is incredibly important to us, so we're just going to go with disregard for now. Let's see what the challenge is. Okay, yeah, like I said, pretty easy challenge uh, beating them, but might be a bit easier said than done, but let's get into this game. So we just found out that the Jags have actually picked up Justin Simmons, who's a great free safety. So this team may be a little bit harder than we remember. However, they also have Gardner Minshew, which no offense to Jags fans. I wouldn't say he's elite. 
Okay, is that who was that? Oh, Chanel. I don't know who that is, but that was that was uh, that was a catch. Kind it, that felt very scripted by the game there, but we're not gonna get mad. We're not gonna get mad. But so we're coming out in this nickel set because they keep wanna. They're coming out with a ton of receivers. Let's hope this new Jalen Brown upgrade can maybe stop them. They're most likely going to get a field goal here, but that's better than a touchdown, so we'll absolutely take that. We're going to go in on the bliss with Rashawn Evans. Doesn't look like... Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to argue that uh, the receiver probably should have caught that one, but they deserve that for what they did earlier. That dumb animation they got on the sideline. Teaser J on Brown a little bit. Try and get our new... Okay, we were trying to bait out Leonard Fournette's throw. But Gardner Minshew, rookie mistake, gets sacked. So, looks like it's going to just be a field goal. We're going to do our best to block this. I doubt anything's going to come out of it. <gasps> we get it! Oh my gosh! I can't believe I just did that. I had the animation and I missed it. They definitely made blocking field goals harder this year. Not only that it's less likely to get them, but you actually have to control it now. I remember Madden 20. If you hit RT at the right time, you had the block. Now you actually have to control your character. So I'm s I don't th I haven't blocked a field goal this year in Mutt on um, franchise anything. So I'm still kind of learning. All right, run up the middle, Derrick Henry. Don't really need to explain my reasoning for this play call. As I said, don't need to explain the reasoning. Derrick Henry is like a little bit faster. He probably has a touchdown on that one. But gonna keep, we're going to keep handing it until Derrick Henry until they decide to do something about it. Running away from Justin Simmons. <sighs> Derrick Henry with the cut. Can he make it? Oh, is that... Who is... Ooh, I know... Uh... Is Henderson a rookie? I'm not really sure who Henderson is. I'm sorry, but I know I know he's a good player. I gotta figure out who he is. Where is he at? Yeah, I believe C.J. Henderson's a rookie. I could be wrong. Sorry, Jags fans. And a quick pass to A.J. Brown gets us the tutty. That was ballsy, throwing it right by Justin Simmons. But this connection between our rookie QB and A.J. Brown is gonna be incredible. Coming out on the cover three, it's worked so far. Still coming out on these heavy receiver sets. Ooh. Okay, Jam Brown probably not playing the zone he should have been playing, but it's okay. About seven yards. Okay, eight. Calling the zone blitz. We're gonna play on our boy eight, uh, Jam Brown again. False start, I'm assuming. I wasn't actually paying attention. Yeah, false start. So that'll back him up five. All right, we're going to switch up to man coverage now. Still going to play on Jan Brown. I'm going to try and get a strip sack with Jan Brown. <gasps> oh, so close. If Fulton can just pick that off, that would have been legendary. I think that's our rookie, though. I wouldn't give him too much hate for that. Let's see if Leonard Fournette... Okay, Leonard Fournette's going to go on a route. Okay, our defense is clamping now. They saw that first pass play and they're like, nah, not happened to us again. Alright, after a bad sack, yeah, it takes us back 13. We're going to go for a RPO, most likely going to be a run. Yeah, it's going to be a run. And nothing gets out of it. We try to cut, the, uh, cut that yardage in half, but we're not doing too far. Let's see if this strong arm rookie can make anything out of this poor, poor drive. He may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one. AJ Brown! What did I tell you guys? I think that was actually supposed to be inaccurate, too. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be inaccurate, but that still worked incredibly well. AJ Brown going up to snag it, and he makes sure he gets in bounds. The, the duo of just AJ Brown and. Ooh, I forget his name. Sorry. Mr. Number 9, Colbert. There we go. Easy slant. Just run out of bounds to try and avoid an injury. Alright. Let's see if we can get anything open. Let's go! Against uh, CJ Henderson. Mr. Davis. I think that's a rookie uh, receiver too. Alright, third and goal here. Let's decide if they get a field goal, or if they get a turnover, or if they get a touchdown. 
Hopefully it doesn't turn out that bad. Alright, looking like a field goal, not the worst. So, Jags are gonna show a little bit of fight in them. Actually, they could go for it here on fourth. Yeah, they weren't gonna go for it. Showing a little bit of fight left in them, so the game's not over. We've that we we've, we've definitely shown them that we're the dominant team in this go around. All right, guys. So we failed an offensive drive. We managed to hold them on a defensive drive. Mid blitz was working really well. They just could like the amount of pressure they had. It just didn't give them enough time to make a throw. Derrick Henry, not so hot first time around. We have to dig ourselves out of this hole that uh, a great punt put us in. It's called screen. Maybe they'll get blitz happy being that we're so close to our own goal line. Let's see, does anyone bite on the anyone bite on the screen? Okay. All right. So maybe juking with Derrick Henry isn't the best idea. But was that Justin Simmons? I think sniffed us out. However, he missed the tackle, so we got we might have gotten a bit lucky there. But let's march down the field. Get some good. Let's get a good drive going. Make the score 21-6. If it gets to a point where it's like 28-6, I'm pretty sure the game's just over. Okay, so that was a dumb pass by me, but I I just wanted to have fun. Okay, don't judge me for <gasps> that was third and two. Yeah, I didn't know. I I was totally not paying attention. Let me let me get let me get us out of this position real quick. It's fourteen and six. We're going big balls. There we go. Big balls is definitely worth it. All right, so we managed to pin the Jaguars back on their own 10-yard line with a very good punt, and we took our lead for granted. We got very blitz happy. We tried to get us a safety. Didn't work, and it led to Leonard Fournette getting a 90-yard rush. So now we're only leading by one, so now we got to get back to work, show that this team uh, just has the ability to win. We don't want to lose to the Jags after we diss them so hard. And... Our rookie QB almost just throw a pick. Is that my fault? Absolutely not. I take no credit for... Uh, I take all the credit for throwing amazing passes, but no credit for throwing picks. Remember that. <laughs> Alright. Seven... Looks, uh, okay, six-yard rush, Derrick Henry. Gonna run some curls. This will probably work. Derrick Henry on a drag. Uh, we're looking for Johnny Smith here. I don't mean to predict the play before it happens, but... As I was saying... Never mean to predict a play before it happens, but sometimes you can just see who and what's going to be open. That's probably why I throw so many interceptions, but we're not going to talk about it. Alright, we're going to go with a big shot. We're ready to just throw it away. We don't want to risk anything huge here. Okay. Not the best throw. It, not the best read. Obviously not the best throw. But, you know, we shouldn't expect more out of a 66 overall quarterback trying to throw on the run, so... We're going to try and get a connection with A.J. Brown. Nothing there. And we get baited hard, and that's going to be... Oh, shoot, what am I doing? Good news? Uh, the rookie quarterback the rookie quarterback got two firsts today. He got his first interception in first tackle, so that's the not-so-good news. Yikes, so we're, we're not looking too hot. We're going to need to bring this game back. Okay, I wasn't paying attention, but we fo we force a fumble on Gardner Minshew. It could have been huge, but one of the defensive guys decides, you know what? Take 15 yards. Just please don't take six points. So, Brandon Linder, uh, it depends on how you look at it. You can say you made a bad decision or you made a team decision. But, so we got the ball back. This time we won't take it for granted. We'll clock up the score again. We had a wide gap there. We missed it just by an inch. Trying to slowly gain this lead back. And we're up ahead, so we can even just shoot. We can do our best to chew clock, but I'd rather have a bit more insurance than what we have right now. Nothing looks open. Ooh, okay. We tried to see if we can get anything through the scramble. Nothing happened. In hindsight, should have just thrown it away. But I think it was worth a shot for only losing two yards. We kind of risked a fumble, but once again, I stand by my decision. I think it was worth it. And our rookie wide receiver, Davis, 
absolutely streaking. We're, we gotta try and get this guy a development trade upgrade. If we get an easy game, we're, we're, we'll probably try and focus uh, some people just to get their development trade upgraded. Because this Davis guy has kind of been carrying. About three yards. Ooh, only a yard. Okay. Just gonna keep feeding Derrick Henry down their throat. One interesting matchup I noticed was you look at the release and that's a scare that's a scary number. However, this plus four speed, with enough time, we may be able to score a big play on Richard Sherman. I know it's a risky thing, but from the gun, Colbert uncorks one for Davis. Okay! That was probably one of the dumbest throws I ever made. I even pre-predicted it too. But to be honest, I think it would have been caught if it wasn't pass interference. But we will take our whew, I don't even I wasn't even counting. Forty yard gain off of an incomplete pass. We always love those. Tried to make a quick playmaker, didn't work so well. Unique and Gawkway. Alright, alright, buddy. Don't flex so hard when you're down by one point and we're in your red zone. Okay. We're going to try and hit it up with a red zone threat, Johnny Smith. Once again, try my best not to predict the play before it happens, but it's hard to say that I don't want to... In the heavy blitz, we're lucky we got that one out. Third and 12. Alright, we're going to rely on this crossing out, Johnny Smith. Again, don't mean to predict the play before it happens, but sometimes it's just hard. Bruh. No, that is the worst case scenario. Justin Simmons, knowing that we were predicting it too. It was a contested catch. Looks like we're running it back through defense. Alright, we're lucky our defense is playing so good right now, because our offense has cooled down so much since the first quarter. But, uh, well, I was going to say that we're going to start running the ball more, but that's going to be a bit awkward saying that, looking at the play we just called. But, we are going to try and run the ball more this drive. And I've just thrown another pick. We're not going to talk about that one. We are not going to talk about that one, okay guys? Just just skip by this part. Alright, so we're back on offense, deciding to run the ball. So many bad decisions made by the offense. But we are close to getting Derrick Henry in the zone, and if we can get that, that might just seal the game. And it looks like he's going to be in the zone. Maybe? I'm pretty sure that counts as 10 yards. Let's hope it does. Yeah, baby in the zone so maybe derrick henry can come back give us this clutch victory why would i not run it when he's in the zone oh okay never mind it's cool i didn't want to run it anyways all right right back into it I'm gonna go four verticals make them call a heavy secondary set and then try and pass it off to derrick henry there it is there's that zone ability absolutely just ignoring any tackle that comes at him yeah, six yards after contact. We should see that a lot. And you know, of course, we're going right back with it. This looks like a draw play. Yep. Please tell me that's not a tackle for loss. Please tell me that counts as a gain. Yes. Okay, I'm not going to lie. We kind of got bailed out right there. Maybe not pass it to, or give it to Derrick Henry as much. I'm still saying we give it to him a good amount, but... Davis holding it in. Kind of surprised. He looks like a. He doesn't look like average size of a football player, but he still holds it in. And in the end, that's what matters. We got everything shifting over to the left, which I like. We only have to look in one spot. Rookie QB delivering a dime. Derrick Henry just, just demolishing. Is that CJ Henderson? I think that's CJ Henderson. Whoever 21 is, just absolutely not, not letting anyone get in his way. Oh, this is such a bad decision. Knowing all the picks we've thrown, I'm gonna audible out of it. And this is even this is an even worse decision, but we're gonna do our best to get down whenever we can. Okay, did I get down earlier than I should have? Absolutely, but I was scared. Okay, we've already gotten so many turnovers by him. Hmm. AJ Brown brings something interesting. Plus six release, but not enough speed. I don't want to risk it. So, when in doubt. Let Derrick Henry get a, get a ball. He gets a stiff arm. Oh! And he gets in. I think that's going to be a controversial decision. This is going to be very controversial. Let's go ahead and view the replay. I'm sure the refs will first, but... 
What do we got here? I went for a truck, which I 100% should not have. That's totally my fault if we don't get it. Feeder's still in. He goes for the truck. He goes for the dumbest truck ever. He sprawls out. Uh, no needs to touch the ground yet. Does he hit the pylon before that left knee gets down? It's close, but I'm going to say he does. I'm going to say... Um, you know what? Honestly, it's a coin toss. No idea. We'll let the refs decide, I guess. And they aren't caught. They're not going to go to booth review. And we're going to get a roughing the kicker call. Well, I mean, we'll take it. That Derrick Henry one is just a bit controversial, but we're, <laughs> we're lucky. You know, we should be complaining. Let's never complain about us getting a good call. Alright, Jags are on our 38. We've been calling this uh, nickel double leg up, I think is what it's called. Been running a lot of mid blitz. Hasn't been working, hence why they're on our 28. Get a big stop sack, pushing them back to our 40. It's too bad we couldn't get a fumble, we not. Let's just be grateful for what we got. Hmm. Part of me really wants to dial up the mid blitz, but we got such a good thing right now, I'm not gonna risk it. Let's try. Oh, we don't need really any big plays, we don't need any picks, just swats and tackles. <gasps> Or an eight or Jayon Brown pick. I'm just calling him AJ Brown. Jayon Brown pick. Not gonna lie, that's looking like that might just be game. It's looking like it, but you know we've made plenty of bad decisions on offense. That it's definitely not over. It is 100% not over. All right, guys, is this necessary? No. Is it stupid? Absolutely. But we're gonna go for it. And it looks like it's gonna work. Big boy Taylor Lewan. Coming in, just pouring a little extra salt in that wound. Do I feel bad? Absolutely not. Taylor Lewan, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. That is what it took to win this game. So, we beat uh, a division rival, which is always ideal. Derrick Henry got in the zone. We just saw how powerful that his zone ability is. It's crazy that you can break the first tackle. Well, you get a high chance of breaking the first tackle. We'll definitely be sure to focus on getting him in the zone more. Two things. Um, you guys probably won't see it, but I ran a fullback dive with our fullback we actually picked up in the draft, which I also didn't show you because it's a fullback. Why would I? But he got like a 10-yard runoff of a fullback dive, so we're gonna try and utilize him more. He seems like a he seems like he could be like a sleeper. He seems like he could uh, become like a dark horse. People wouldn't expect him, and he just burns you. But that's gonna be the game. Let's go ahead and close this out. All right, guys. So we simmed ahead a week. Main things to mention, I hate it, but contract signing started, 175, yes, scouting is starting, this is hype. Now, we are versing the Bills, which would probably normally be a game I would decide to sim, but as you probably saw, and you're probably screaming at me for not recognizing it, we got a breakout player. I'm sorry, but I normally record these videos with uh, at least one or two days in between them, so I'll probably forget who this player is. For those of you that know who this player is, just by the picture... One, good for you. Two, you, you know what to expect next game. But, um, yeah, so that's going to close out this video. The Gunners having a great start to the season. We're going to reverse the Bills, which aren't incredible. They're, I would say they're probably a little bit over mediocre, but definitely. So, let's go ahead and look over our schedule. Obviously, this won't be exact, being that anytime there's a breakout player, we're absolutely going to play the game, unless we can't, because I do still have to stick. That's another reason why that... I, it's important for me to get those five simulated games out earlier. That way that I don't skip out on any breakout players that I need to get. So we got the Bills. Gonna play that. Rams are pretty good. We're gonna play them. Dolphins, we're simming. 49ers will play. Colts will... Well, I did say we're gonna play division uh, rivals. So we'll play the Colts and the Cardinals. How many is that? One, two... Uh, the Bengals are actually very good in this game. So we're gonna play the Bengals. We'll sim the Raiders. We'll sim the Jets. Um... And I guess we're going to send the Seahawks. It's going to be the Seahawks or the Patriots. I guess we'll figure it out when it gets there. We don't have to play divisional rival games, but I just want to. Just kind of, it, it's good to play them. So if it comes down to it, it, where it's like, do I get a breakout player or do I play a division rival? We're going to choose a breakout player. And obviously we could risk it and just hope that our breakout player gets his objective. But we're, we're not that risky. So... Next episode, make sure to clear out this things to do homepage, play the bills, and yeah, hopefully we can go 3 and 0.
that's pretty hopeful thinking. But I'll see you guys later, as always. Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like. If you want to see more Madden, also like. If you want to see more from me, please subscribe. And thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me. You've probably noticed my upload schedule has gone down a ton. School has recently started for me, so... Videos will be slower. They, they'll be faster than they normally were. I think it was two weeks since my last upload, which I'm sorry for. But I'm going to do my best to accelerate uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.